big influence on, on me and, and all the music I really enjoy. And uh, when I was at university in, Aber in Aberystwyth, we used to go every Friday, we used to go and watch it. So this is about, it's called Whistle Test Fridays. Friday's was whistle test day, and after a few jars in the Union Bar, it was a procession into the Lights Out TV room. The mustachioed, pipe-smoking Zen, and hippies down from the mountains with their far-out dogs, who walked nodding like their owners. The couple on everything, who had a cat called Man, who clawed up curtains when stoned. Anarchists, trots, and commies, the lot, all silent as a congregation, as the high priest of music, whispering Bob Harris, was so laid back, you could see why, years later, Punk grabbed him by the ghoulies and swung him senseless. <laughs> we waited for heroes or discoveries, musicians who have long since OD'd or resorted to Zimmer frames. And sometimes, someone like Tom Waits or Kevin Coyne or the crazy captain would alter our brains, and we would utter, yes, I've been saved. Those times, music would resurrect dreary days when lives were somebody else's theories. And we could hear a person whistling outside that old tin pan alley, a doorman or janitor, a melody to blow our minds away like wind off the bay at Abba. <laughs> 